Over the past few years, Tesla's been focusing on casting technology to produce larger parts of its vehicles in bigger pieces. Tesla's plan is to use two huge single castings for the front and rear underbody sections and to connect them with a battery pack that serves as part of the body structure. This innovation reduces weight and greatly simplifies vehicle assembly. In this video, we're going to see how Tesla is quietly building up a trillion-dollar weapon in the form of Gigapress. Welcome to InfoWealth. The year 2017 marked Tesla's first attempt towards mass production of electric vehicles. The Model 3 was the subject of the new direction that Tesla was taking. Surprisingly, Musk, along with his team, was not vocal about their new technological tinkering. Nothing was said about the nuances of the mass production techniques. The technology was downplayed and subsequently hidden within the vehicle. All of that changed a year later when Sandy Monroe, an automotive engineer and consultant, was encouraged by his friends and colleagues to give a serious look at the Model 3. He stripped the Model 3 down to its chassis and compared it to similar BMW and Chevy products. His findings were as devastating as they were revealing. The Tesla vehicle, according to him, was way ahead of its time. Its battery tech, drivetrain, and electronics were unrivaled in the industry. However, he was disappointed with the vehicle body design. This, he concluded, was the major problem with Model 3. It was too heavy, too complex, too expensive, and ultimately difficult to manufacture. He had suggestions for Tesla that would improve the vehicle body and save them money. He forwarded a list of 227 suggested improvements to Tesla that would outpace their competition. Tesla might not have made an official statement concerning Monroe's claims, but they definitely took his advice. Elon Musk has always been known to be receptive to constructive criticism, irrespective of who it was coming from. This is what's made Tesla one of the leading manufacturing companies in the world. Elon Musk has a plan that has begun with the Model Y at their Giga Berlin factory in Germany. On the 18th of January, 2021, he was quoted saying this, With our giant casting machines, we are literally trying to make full-size cars in the same way that toy cars are made. This revolutionary approach to car manufacturing is split into two major focuses. The first is a complete body revamp of all Tesla vehicles, and the second is a major improvement on battery engineering. The new body would take a very minimalistic approach. It would comprise of two giant giga castings, one for the front and one for the rear. It would also include a central battery pack structure that would support the structure of the vehicle itself. Compared to previous iterations, this new design would save Tesla 370 parts, thereby reducing vehicle mass by 10% while adding 14% to its range. However, let's not make a mistake. The Giga Casting and revolutionary Model Y designs are not Tesla's focus. Elon Musk has said this part is easy. The hard part is creating an efficient manufacturing system. The focus for Tesla is their Gigafactory and the new machinery that Tesla is introducing to the industry of car manufacturing. The machine is the Gigapress. What is the Gigapress? The Gigapress is a high-pressure aluminum die-casting machine that's manufactured by an Italian company called Hydra. Tesla currently has four Gigafactories across the globe. Their factory in China has three of the machines. There are two in both California and Berlin, while their factory in Austin, Texas has the machines fully operational. These Gigapresses are custom orders from Hydra, and they're one of the largest machines in the world at the moment. The average Gigapress is as big as a house and is capable of casting extremely large components. The Gigapress that casts the components for the Model Y is a 6,000-ton machine, and the one that Tesla intends to use for their Cybertruck is an 8,000-ton machine. However, the terms 6,000-ton Gigapress and 8,000-ton Gigapress are not describing the weight of the presses, but rather the pressure they use to inject heated aluminum alloy into molds. The higher pressure is what results in faster injection and better conformance of the alloy to the mold. The weight of the Gigapress itself ranges between 410 and 430 tons, which are roughly between 900,000 and 950,000 pounds. A Gigapress has a cycle time of a minute and a half and can produce roughly 1,000 castings per day. The factory in Berlin alone is projected to have around six of these machines, so even with the added casting of the rear underbody and front parts, the speed of production cannot be threatened. In fact, 4,000 vehicles can be produced per day, 28,000 vehicles per week, and a staggering 1.5 million vehicles per year. To put things in perspective, we've only spoken of the Model Y at Giga Berlin. This is the way Tesla Gigapress works. 
Before anything, Tesla's custom aluminum alloy is melted down at 850 degrees Celsius. Byproducts like aluminum oxide are removed from the surface and liquid metal is moved through heated pipes into a warming oven at the same temperature. While there, various gases remove any impurities and prevent the formation of oxides, after which a robot sprays the inside of the mold with a thin layer of oil, which ensures that the casting can easily be removed after the process. The mold is then clamped shut, and a vacuum pumps out the air from inside, which allows the liquid metal to be evenly distributed in all areas. When this is done, around 80 kilograms of molten metal is pumped rapidly at a neck-breaking speed of 10 meters per second, or 22 miles per hour. The mold is filled 60 to 100 milliseconds. After this, a robot removes the casting, which would have cooled to about 400 degrees Celsius, and then it places it in a quenching tank that further reduces that temperature to 50 degrees. The excess aluminum is cut off and shredded before being thrown into a smelter oven where it's recycled for other castings. After the process is done, the final casting is x-rayed to verify the structure, then it's computer measured for accuracy. While Tesla has gotten a lot of praise for its stride and innovation, market analysts have been concerned about the competition and copycats Tesla will likely face. Already, the company that owns Hydra, LK Technology, has three sets of 9,000-ton gigapresses that's currently the largest die-casting machine in the world. The irony is that they weren't made for Tesla, and they can't be bought because another customer, unrelated to Tesla, has already ordered them. This begs the question, can just anyone place an order on a gigapress machine? What does this mean for Tesla's IP? The answer actually is yes. People can and already have been stealing Tesla's designs and ideas However, it's not that easy to replicate the work of Musk and his team. To begin with, the machine that Tesla ordered is a custom machine that was created specifically for Tesla vehicles. Any other car manufacturing company that acquires an exact model would find the device quite useless without entering legal troubles. Tesla's not even been shy about its patents. They currently hold a patent for multi-directional unibody casting machine that is public. However, Musk has said that no matter what happens and no matter how much information is revealed, Competitors that try to copy will always find themselves light years behind Tesla's current innovation. The patent we mentioned earlier was made public a year and a half after it had been issued. One other issue, and something that Sandy had pointed out earlier, was the fact that older automakers are too stuck in their ways to make the kind of radical changes that Elon's team makes. However, considering the turbulent intelligence relationship American companies have had with China, and when you consider that Tesla has a factory in China, it's safe to assume that some Chinese automakers won't find it difficult to catch on eventually. This begs yet another question. Why hasn't Tesla acquired Idri yet? If they do that, then they wouldn't have to bother about competition since they wouldn't be manufacturing gigapresses for commercial purposes. Also, LK, the parent company, is listed on the stock market at 13 billion Hong Kong dollars, which is a little over a billion dollars. This is one acquisition that would be a cakewalk for Tesla. Tesla has more than enough cash on hand to buy out the company. So why haven't they? The answer lies in innovation and foresight. The reason why they haven't bought out Idra is the same reason why they haven't bought out Panasonic, the company that they partner with to create their batteries. There's a limit to the amount of gigapresses that Tesla needs. The moment Tesla installs them and they're fully functional, there would be no use for the machines or the company supplying them. Also, the machines are highly durable, and it's unlikely they would need replacement anytime soon. When you even consider how fast Tesla's been growing, it won't be surprising if they find new methods to manufacture cars that would not require the gigapress. Just a few years ago, Tesla's industrial robots were cutting edge, but now they're looked at as a forgotten era. Tesla needs to be flexible. That flexibility is what has helped them stay innovative. If they were to acquire a company that they outsource equipment from, they would be cutting their legs. The preferable alternative for them would be to create their own gigapress and modify it in such a way that they can still work with Hydra while cutting costs. They've already done this with Panasonic. One final reason why Tesla wouldn't acquire Hydra is because of the clients they would inherit. Many of these clients might not even be in the car manufacturing business. There are just too many cons that make the benefits not worth it. The Gigapress itself isn't perfect, and this is something that Tesla is aware of and not shy to speak about. They are machines of themselves, and when you consider just how many units of cars depend on one to eight machines, then an entire production line could be compromised if any machine suddenly becomes faulty. The cost incurred and time wasted would be largely dependent on how fast Tesla or Hydra could get it working. Another problem with casting a car like Tesla does is that accidents can become very costly. Costly enough to write off the entire vehicle, even for a small accident. 
While this issue has loomed large over customer expectations, Sandy Monroe has said that the Giga casting is durable enough to withstand small accidents and that any accident strong enough to get to the Giga casting would be fatal enough to threaten the lives of the passengers. Tesla under Elon Musk has prioritized innovation above anything else. It's rare to see a company of Tesla's size still retain the amount of flexibility that is often only seen in startups. Some argue that the reason is because Tesla is actually just a tech company fronting as a car manufacturer. Others believe that it's Elon Musk's vision and direction that should be praised. Whichever it is, their methods are working, and they're disrupting an industry that has not seen this kind of growth in many years. As the Gigapress is fully integrated into the manufacturing line of Tesla cars, don't be surprised to see other car companies rush to do exactly the same. Thanks for watching. Until next time.